listen guys listen we're here <clears throat> and we're on the internet and we're all on the internet together so let's just try to draft a 3-0 deck okay 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 let's do it i'm your host the sixth player in the queue i'm actually like the fourth player in the queue hmm <clears throat> Planeswalker Academy with the resub. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. <clears throat> Can we get a modern deck going with Notion Rain and Modern Rain? Probably Molten Rain? Probably not. I do not see Notion Rain being very good in modern, unfortunately. I feel like we have better options than Notion Rain when it comes to... Uh, Unless you want to get all the reins in there. I bet we can do that. Oh, it's your boy. That's a solid dude. Well, here we go. Boop. Right on into the pack. The excitement is real. Yeah, that's a dude. Also, this guy has dropped from his most expensive spot in the set to the second most expensive spot in the set. Buy like seven tickets to Arcolite Phoenix. That card. I was so tempted to pick up like eight of those guys just to be like, I'm going to have eight of these guys. I'm just going to play them. They're not playing, but like, I just, I, they look like they were going to go up. So I was like, oh, I'm going to take some Arcolite Phoenixes. And then, of course, we get a pack that's utterly terrible for Demir. I guess we could take like Whisper Agent. <clears throat> did you mention in an earlier stream you'd be a GP? I did, but I'm not going to be, actually, unfortunately. I wish I was going to be. I really, really want to go. But it's, uh... I'm going to New York, like, two days after I'd get back from that, and uh, I just can't justify the cost. Uh, I underwrite enhanced surveillance because I think it's not good. So that is where I'm at. I never need to look at two more cards. Like... Surveil by itself is strong enough on the cards it's on. Like, I, I really don't need to look at two more cards. Especially if I never hit another Surveil card, it's just a blank. I'm going to have to... I, I, I love you to death. I'm just going to have to disagree with you. That's a flavor text on here. He has a job to finish, and it's you. Uh, <clears throat> so there's some flavor text where I'm like, that's a little too on the nose. Also, Demir and Formant I don't like. <clears throat> I'm going to take Severed Strands. Um, reason being that I want to keep myself open for Golgari. And not necessarily lock myself into... Discovery Dispersal. Sinister Sabotage. Everyone loves this card. I think it's fine. I think it's... Uh, uh, <clears throat> <coughs> I don't know. It does put us in blue. Yeah, the dispersal half's kind of meh. <clears throat> it's five minute instant, though. It's not terrible. I think it's probably better than these two. Yeah, I'm going to take it. Uh, Demir Guildgate lets us splash this. And there's nothing in this pack I'd really take if I was, <clears throat> uh, Golgari or Demir, so. Uh, House Guild Mage is pretty good. Uh, probably the best card in this pack. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna take the Generous Stray. Um, you guys know I'm gonna probably lean towards Sultai. I could take the Izzet Guildgate and lead toward Izzet, but I'd rather have cards that I want to splash rather than assume I'll get cards to splash, so. <clears throat> JC, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. It's probably just select. Actually, we want to lean towards black. I'll take the Vapors. Yep, Spinal Centipede's completely salvageable. Serviceable? Serviceable is what we're looking for. Mm -hmm. 
look at that enhanced enhanced surveillance came back i'll just take it because you know How would Dart and Everby and Candle ever be in the same pack? Uh, I don't like Dart. Tallow Wisp, Candle, Tallow, Skull, Tallow, Candle, whatever that card was called. Uh, killing a 5-5, five, five, which is like one of the biggest creatures in that format because you had Partic. I think Partic Giant was a 5-5. Five, five. Partic, whatever it was. <clears throat> Partic Wander. Yeah, so you could kill most of the cards in that format with a with a five damage spell. Um <clears throat> whereas you cannot do that with three damage in this format, so uh, I'm able to play Miles Davis and other jazz at the beginning of the stream because it's it's definitely not public domain. Um but it's because it's not it's you can play whatever music you want on stream. It's just, it'll just be muted in the VODs. Which is why I don't play it during other parts. Other ports. Other ports of the stream. Hey, I don't play it during the other ports of the stream. What in the earth is going on? <laughs> Holy Jesus. This is a 23 ticket rare. Whoo, doggies. <clears throat> Let's just put that right in here for safekeeping. Foil Vraska is 23 tickets, ladies and gentlemen. I'm real tempted to take this because this has been good for us. If you can get like three dudes back, and I, usually you can. You can engineer it so you get three dudes back. Yep. All right. Kitty cat, come on in. Come on down, kitty cat. Yeah, I'm just taking the menagerie here. Um, even if we're not salty, you still have burglar rats and hired hired poisoners at the one drop. I'm really not sure what the first. Yeah, it's tricky. It's uh, it's a tough one. Yeah, menagerie's actually been surprisingly good for us. So we can also sacrifice the creatures and get them back with menagerie thanks to Varaska. Ah, the old Doom Whisper Foil Vraska deck. Uh, a, a, a gem. A real gem. <clears throat> Unmoored Ego. Oh, Price of Fame. That is, that is definitely a solid pickup. I can't remember the last time I had a Price of Fame in my deck. Uh, Notion Rain's okay. I would love some two drops here. Can I get some two drops? Could be Stray, could be Notion Rain. Wall is a two drop. Yeah, it's not it's not good. I'm gonna take the notion rain. I think we can get other strays if we want them. Um we're gonna take Gateway Plaza here. We already have a Demir Guild Gate, so getting a second gate here. Oh, thank goodness. A two drop. I like this stray. If this stray comes back, I'll be grateful. Also, if this circuitous route comes back, I'll be okay with that too. Gamma said, thank you so much for the Zarisa. Welcome back. Thanks for a performance. I wish I had subscribed. Me too. But I accept that you've subscribed when you did, and I appreciate it very much. Time's a wasting.
Gateway Plaza here? Hmm. Is there a Planeswalker in this deck? Yeah, it's right here. Uh, I like Glaive. It's probably Gateway. I don't want too many Gateway Plazas. Yeah, I'll take the Glaive. Oh, a Golgari Guildgate. That's what we're talking about. Oh, Hired Poisoner, though. Hmm. I probably want the Poisoner for the Gruesome Menagerie. I bet we can get more Guildgates. Oh, Iron Shell Beetle. All right, we're doing it. We're getting all the mediocre two and three drops. Generous straight. Oh, one more ego. All right, I'll take you. Oh, we also have a Doom Whisperer here. I don't know if that does anything for you. Whatever, I'll take a Sunday. We already have an Ur Actually, Hitchclaw Recluse is good. Not another Severed Strands. That is playable. Circuitous Route comes back. That's pretty good. All right, now we're talking. I don't know if we'll play it. We might. Getting to fixing fixing lands is pretty nice. Double gruesome menagerie. I don't think we're taking a second one. I was really hoping for like some kind of ridiculousness in the in the third pack, like uh, like a Ral Zarek or something, but. <clears throat> Probably just going to take Night Veil Sprite here. That card is pretty strong. We already have two Severed Strands. I'm not taking a third Severed Strands. That's pretty aggressive. I'm probably just taking Night Veil Sprite because it's very, very good. Oh, a Charnel Troll? Boy, why do these Sultai decks end up being so good? A Deadly Visit also. Maybe if that comes back. If this or the Golgari Guild... This is never coming back. But if the Guild Gate or the Dark Blade Agent comes back, I'll be okay with it. I'll even take an Iron, Iron Beetle on the... I'm taking the Troll because we only have 11 creatures. Wow, Disinformation Campaign and Mission Briefing too? Hmm. Is this sack a permanent? I like that because we could actually sack this when it's like outlived its usefulness. We don't have a... Do we have a ton? Actually, Night Veil. We have Night Veil Sprite. House Guild Mage. Whisper. Notion. Price. Doom Whisper. This. We have actually a good amount of... <clears throat> we do need Guild Gates though. We do need Fixing. I'm not sure if we're a troll deck, really. I mean, I don't know what a troll deck is. If you have two creatures in the graveyard, he's, he's attacking for like 11 damage. I don't. You, you guys think we need to sustain this guy for like multiple turns? It's like three turns is really all you need with this guy. I'm actually just going to take Golgari Guildgate. I don't think we need disinformation campaign, I'm going to be honest. I also, I need fixing. Overgrown Tomb. That's gas. It's only a dollar, I'm sure, but still, it's like great fixing for us. <clears throat> um, nothing in this pack I really care about. I'm just gonna take the disdainful stroke for the sideboard. Ah, uh, I do love a good rhizome lurcher. That is a nice late game gentleman. Go <laughs> okay. <laughs> this gets back a Vraska and a Doom Whisper, so it's actually one of the best cards we could have found. Yeah, that's pretty good. We also don't actually have that many blue cards. We have Notion Rain, House Guild. We can actually just be straight Sultai. What are our blue cards? This is barely blue because we still get Discovery. These are our only blue cards. Hmm. Hmm. Yep, definitely taking Child of Night here, just because I want another 2-drop. Pax Favor is a playable. Pilfering Imp. That's another 1-drop we can get back with Gruesome Menagerie, actually, so I'm kind of on board to take that guy. 
Six drop is fine. Crushing Canopy is great. Yeah, I'm not actually sure we even want the uh, the blue here. I don't think it's worth splashing for Night Veil Sprite. Um, it's a great card, but we don't really have a way to exploit it. Actually, Wario Cappy is fine. And these two are great, but like, I don't care about them. We can actually just play this and then just splash it off of like... Gateway Plaza or Demir Guildgate, which is totally fine. Could also just play a Pax Favor in its place. Actually, Wild Saratok is... Oh, we can take out the route for the Saratok, which is great. <clears throat> yeah, that actually seems pretty good. Uh, I would not consider... The, I have literal zero reason to play Disdainful Stroke in the main deck, let alone if it's a splash color. Like, what, what four plus mana cards am I really scared of right now? Probably still play all the Guild Gates just because we get the blue splash and because of the Glaive. I could also just play a second Severed Strands instead of the Glaive. Seventeen creatures is nice though. Vraska goes to six immediately, that's pretty good. I think this is actually good. I think seventeen creatures is we also have a good amount of removal, right? Look at this guy. Your removal. I guess we only have three. Three removals. Hired Poisoner is basically a removal. I mean, we could also take the Glaive out and just play the Overgrown Tomb, which might make our mana significantly better. Yeah, that's actually probably worth it. But the, the difference is we get the Splash Dispersal too, which is pretty strong. It's a nice instant speed trick if, you, if you're able to get the blue mana. Plus, it makes your cards like Generous Stray stronger. You can see Cutting Glaive bring Severed Strands in. Playing Overgrown, Demir. But then we're like... So it's either we play this or we play like... Pax Favor, maybe? Pax Favor is good. This Doom Whisper. Uh, so we have Gross Menagerie, which gets back three guys, and then Golgari Feinberger, which gets back like Vraska or Doom Whisper. It's pretty good. I kind of like Pax Favor over over this. Now we can just keep it, keep it Solta, or keep it Golgari. We can play these two. Nope. Eight, six, 14. I'm going to assume we have more black. I think we definitely do. Yeah. All right. I don't see any reason to keep the dispersal, though. Like, we have no we have no way to, split, to play the blue half, so it's like literally just keeping discovery. Yikes. This is how it's going to go. <laughs> okay. I don't actually like Discovery that much. I don't think two mana to surveil and draw a card is that good. I mean, that's just me. I know a lot of people disagree. Let's 
That would have been very good. But saying discovery is very good is is a bit of a you know that seems like an extreme overstatement. It's a two mana. It's a two mana serum visions that just lets you look at one card instead of two. So it's I I really don't think. It's a fair comparison. Like a two mana serum visions is significantly different than a one mana serum visions. It's a cantrip. It's it's literally any cantrip. Okay, now we're talking. <laughs> All right, cool. We're doing it. We're living the dream. Got him. The surveil putting things in the artist. Yeah, but it's surveil one. Like it's like if you want the top card, you want it. Otherwise, I mean, like the only thing that's going to be relevant in this archetype is if it's a creature. And a lot of times, if it's a creature, you just want to draw it because you're playing limited. Like I, I don't think these limited decks are really in the business of throwing away all their creatures. Like it just doesn't really make sense to me. Because throwing away one creature benefits maybe two creatures in the deck. It benefits Rhizome Lurcher, and it benefits... Do we even have another card with Undergrowth that really cares about having a creature in the graveyard? Gruesome Menagerie, maybe? But wouldn't I rather just play the creature and then get the value of having it die naturally and then get it back? Because that feels better. Troll care, sure, but I mean, <laughs> we could just easily draw the card and discard it to the troll to give it two counters. Like, you know, I mean, like if we're if we we want the creatures to die naturally, and that's how we do it. Like, I, I, I think you guys are, I think you guys are misevaluating like undergrowth. Undergrowth, you want creatures in your graveyard naturally, not like in limited. You don't want to be. You have like fifteen. 12 to 15 creatures usually don't want to be throwing them out just for the sake of throwing them out like if you surveil a creature to your graveyard and then draw a land it's like the worst thing you could probably do I think oh look at that guy what's your price for fame <clears throat> there's just no reason to force it like games progress naturally and you get guys and like so next time we can go Whisper Agent and Child of Night. I'm going to put you in the graveyard and I'll keep the child. Oh, we can't do both. We don't have enough black. Dang it, we're so bad at this game. Mm. Yeah, this is fine. You're going to block one, you'll take three. I'll keep the child. Muse Drake. <laughs> you got it. You got it, champ. You got it, sport. So we can actually put the child in the graveyard. So what do they, do they have profitable blocks here? They just block this guy and this guy. Yeah, they just go block here, block here. That's not great. It 
See, again, though, I still rather have a child in hand and then not, like, in the graveyard. If I want the child to get in the graveyard, I'll just play it and then attack with it. I'll gain two life and maybe, maybe deal some damage. No, because putting no, because that quote really only sounds good if you read it out of context. The only reason that quote is good is because it's out of context, and uh, when it's out of context, it sounds bad. So, So they have four cards in hand and they didn't play anything with one, two, three, four, five, six mana. It's disconcerting. Once they get a non planes, we're gonna see a Niv Mizzet, I bet. Look at all these little creatures. Uh, well, it's not November first for sure. It's 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 in November, so I have no idea when. We motor, motor. I don't know if you're planning on doing any more streams while there's while we're trusting the alcoholic, but a friend of mine has recommended this to you. Wow, you guys are recommending alcohol. They didn't play anything. Oh, I like it. Motoran. Me boozy. <laughs> What's your price for flight? They have double goblin electromancer, which the only thing they did was trade as two twos, and they have a garrison sergeant, which is not, which is not an ideal creature to have to begin with. So this is actually a fine trade. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sever strands here. I'm just gonna put it on the child because it makes the child. Uh, I'm sure they're gonna kill it with like a direct current or something next turn. Five five is where I wanna. That's where I'm comfortable playing this guy. Yeah, Pelt Collector is not great. I mean, it's fine, but like, so you're gonna deal three to this. I'm gonna Pax favorite because I like it better. That seems good. I'm okay with it. I'm okay, Dad. It's okay if you're in green. I agree with you. But that's what I'm my point. It's not super exciting. It's not super exciting. <laughs> I'm doing my part. <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. I might be realistic that the collector is the best one. He might have done that. But I think it was also ironic to make fun of all the people who are saying that. What's what's going on, Zoro? Oh, I see. That's actually fine. You're going to get rid of the Lurcher, I assume. And then we still have a bunch of dudes that can profitably attack here. Okay. So we have two cards. You have three cards. And we have three duties. Do we have a one drop? We have multiple three drops. If the Child of Night dies, then we're... Yep, just going to pass here. Come on, Doom Whisper. Name a more iconic one drop. I'll wait. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is a little too easy, I think. I'm going to say Savannah Lions. And then I'm going to say Goblin Guide. And then I'm going to say Champion of the Parish. And then I'm going to say Lana War Elves. Oh, look, they're going to discover it here. Let's see how broken it is. 
it wasn't too bad. Priuses are wonderful. People like to like the macho dudes, the hyper masculine dudes, love to shit on Priuses and be like, "Oh, you know, judge Prius," but it's like it's a super efficient car. It's got great features and it's it saves me money on gas and I'm it's good for the environment. I don't know actually what the problem is. Priuses are fantastic. Wow, that's rude. However, quite okay for us. <laughs> that's your boy. <laughs> Jakisha, you were close. It was it was close. What up, Frank and the Barbobbly Booze? That's Huh. Okay. Well I got I got bad news for you, Chief. Get busy whispering <laughs> this Oh, this card. Here we go. We're at 22, so I would easily surveil like five times. It started with a whisper. Is that the jam? I don't even know what song that is. Is that everybody talks? I don't know if I don't know what I don't know if that's what's called. Here we go. Oh, and then this deals four. That's unfortunate. But then you have no cards in hand, but I guess you did it. Let's start the surveil train. People all over the world. Uh, graveyard. Graveyard. We're looking for Vraska, and we're looking for um, a one-drop graveyard. Graveyard. Oh, this is exactly what we want. Poisoner into the graveyard. Vraska on the top. Beautiful. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So do we gruesome menagerie and get back like generous stray, hired point? No, we're just gonna Vraska. They just were like, I just two for one to kill this Doom Whisperer, and now you played a foil Vraska. We have a good time. This guy's going straight for the Vraska, I'm sure. What do you have left? Direct current in your graveyard? That's fine. Alright, Vraska will take one. Fine broker. No? Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, f five. Oh, they're gonna do they have a counter? Their last card's a counter. Wow. Well, isn't that special? Puts the card into their graveyard, sure. seems fine I mean they had one card in hand I can't I can't like I, I think it's I think it's fine if you look if you or if you don't look like they also had to draw the card that would have been very good we get hired poisoner back we get uh, some two drop back I think child of night and then like a, it would have been a four for one with the generous stray and we also get a bunch of fodder for the for the Vraska But like we're at a point where we have six lands and our most expensive card is six, so we have no problem just throwing away lands here to Vraska. Gaining a life, drawing a card. Sure. Do you discard one to kill the imp? Boros lock it. Interesting. It started with a whisper. Uh, 
Oh, we actually oh, we overpaid. That's eh, fine. I forgot we had one floating, but I'll just get back to Doom, Doom Whisper. Yikes. Absolute yikes, city. Yeah, that's a thing, I guess. What's the best course to winning this game? We can Vraska kill your leapfrog. You only have a direct current in, in graveyard. Vraska goes to five. Yeah, we only have nine cards left, so I'm not super thrilled about surveilling when we don't have to right now. I think I'd rather just ride this Doom Whisper to victory. I mean, if they top deck a gold spell that kills this guy somehow, and then they attack, it could be problematic, but... This is a draft? Yeah, we did well. Um, yeah, if you want to kill this, that's totally fine. Like, we get to eat this guy and then you get to direct current. That's fine. Yep, deal. Uh, I'll put you on top. I'll put the swamp in the graveyard. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 lands. There's one land left in our deck out of six cards. Uh, we won this game. Surprise, surprise. Did they have any flying creatures really cared about? Not really. They did have the enchantment, though. They did have the uh, conclave, which is pretty good, and I'd rather just be able to canopy that. Plus, I assume they probably have some flyers in there. Which draft number will this be on YouTube? Um, let me. I can check for you right now. I also like Pax Favor in this matchup because they have a bunch of dudes. This is going to be thirty-nine. Draft thirty-nine. Probably take the Wario Cappy out. Demand mono red to cool down. Yikes.
This draft should be labeled differently. <laughs> well, constructed draft number... I'm going to sort by rarity, because I think it's only the four. Oh, it's, I got the overgrown tomb, just in case. Putting my first cube any pointers that the chat or Frank can give me. I'm doing something similar to Frank and putting my own personal twist on the vintage cube. I looked over Frank's list and see his multicolor section isn't perfectly balanced. Uh, it shouldn't really matter. Like the the vintage cube itself, multicolor isn't perfectly balanced. Like, you just can't balance everything. Also, like, it doesn't have to be balanced by colors. It should be balanced by archetypes, right? Because, like, just because it has four red-white cards doesn't mean they're all going to go in the same red-white decks, for example. So, like, you want to balance it to make sure all the archetypes are well represented, not not the colors themselves. The sand seems fine. Actually, imp into a Poisoner Golgari Guildgate into any of these is really good. Well, that's obnoxious. I guess it's fine if they don't have any way to really exploit it. Like, you're just scrying every turn. Sometimes you just keep the card on top. Yeah, so it's like you didn't even scry. There's no value to be had there. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't think we're going to use the imp for discard now. Like, we just have no reason to do so. <sighs> I will block. Because that's your whole point, is to block. Got that sure strike that we did not see? They do. Integrity. All right. Sure. Mm-hmm. Actually, going to put on this guy. Like, the, we can sacrifice this guy, but this guy's just doesn't need to be any bigger, so. Yeah, they just keep giving me cards I want to play. Actually, I'm just going to keep this guy back. They have two cards in hand. I think we're way ahead right now, but... How many generous strays do you need to have a generous cutie? One. The answer is one. Yeah, that's what I said. It's not even a question. I missed the uh, the arena sound effect, though. The E.T. arena sound effect. That's a good one. Sure strike. Okay. Put it on that leapfrog. Oh, put it on that guy. All right. Sure. They have one card left in their hand. You got it. I 
I'll prevent five here. I'm not super. Uh, I'm not super high on like uh, taking an extra five and going to seven against this deck. So. Oh. Well then. So now we just want to hit a land here so we can play Child of Night, and I think we're going not going to do that. That's what I meant. I meant not going to do that. That's unfortunate. Oh, they just killed that with our second integrity intervention. How nice. Yeah, we're just going to keep jump blocking. We have no reason to keep guys on board, especially with the troll. Also, if we hit land, we're probably going to go troll Child of Night here. Destroy the child. Yeah, we're definitely going to do that. I'm sorry. We have one, two, three. We literally have five creatures in the graveyard, so Troll is pretty sizable here. And Gruesome and Azure getting back Child and two other creatures next turn is pretty good. Oh, just this guy, huh? Hmm. Fascinating. Fascinating. I have no idea what Bring Me the Child is. I know Destroy the Child is an Alex Jones meme from YouTube. I mean, I'm sure Bring Me the Child could be anything. Any movie that wants a child is probably... Uh, I'll take the stray out. It started with a whisper. I feel like they want to trade here, which is good because we have a menagerie. But if they if their last card is Sinister Sabotage, it's not great for us. Oh, it's not. That's pretty good. All right, so Pilfering Imp seems better than the other guy, this guy, and this guy. And we're back at eight, which is super nice. So I, I feel like if they want to attack here, it's pretty aggressive. I guess that's one way to do it. One, two, three, four, five. We go to three, but we have Child of Night. I don't think there's anything you could... Like, you'd have to have a third integrity intervention to deal us an extra three. Okay, so that puts us to one. But they have no cards in hand. Okay, that's fine. Oh, we can actually jump block. We're actually jump blocking here. Yeah, I'm not in the business of taking seven here. That's pretty bad. Get rid of Imp here because we already got rid of our... <laughs> yeah, like you do. Yeah, like you do. Oh boy, we're having a good time. Yeah, that's not going to do it. Look at that guy. <laughs> I'm at seven. I don't have any reason to surveil here. I have two six, six, seven. I have a six, six, and a seven, seven trampler, so. Yeah, alright, the end. This just the end. The end is just They're at five. Both these guys are elite. Yep, alright. He's like, okay, if you're gonna attack with everything. Seems good. Oh, there. Oh, there you go. There's the Yep. <laughs> the opponent's like posting on Facebook. They're like, well, just lost to the foil Vraska. 
Doom Whisper Gruesome Menagerie Charnel Troll deck. Yeah, maybe just stop traveling after this one. It's all downhill from here. We all know that. It started with the whisper. <laughs> I just had a hammer sitting on my desk, so I picked it up. You guys, I used to do this all the time when I was in Seattle. I just had things on the desk that I'd pick up, like pliers or whatever, and you guys would be like, what are you doing? What's he doing with that crazy hammer? Uh, yeah, we'll keep this hand. This is for your kneecaps, if you sass me in the chat. <laughs> That's a solid Molly Cyrus Wrecking Ball gift right there. Oh, Qua what's up, Cosme? Otherwise known as a Quacker 20. Quacker 20? What does that even mean? I just get, I, I just uh, removed two of your zeros. Do you know who won the GP in New Jersey? Can you tell me what the finals were like? Oh, I see. Well, that guy's sizable. I'm reporting you for threatening your viewers. Well, this is awkward. Oh, that's an O4. O4 floaty boy. See what kind of blocks you give me here. Just that guy, huh? The pipes, the pipes are calling. That Drake does have a substantial booty. <laughs> Unfortunately, he has a tiny fronty, though. No, wow, there's a lot of a lot of gentlemen here that are happening. Okay. I'm gonna do this to see what you got. Okay. Experimental Frenzy. Quasi duplicate we're getting rid of. I mean, you could still copy it, but I'd rather you have one less of those. <laughs> also made your guy bigger. You're welcome. Sure. Wow, aggressive. I mean, this is where they unexplained one of these guys. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Put this in the graveyard. I don't know if I want to keep the rhizome lurcher or not. Yeah, that's fine actually. I assume they bounce spinal centipede. Wow, fitting. I 
I'm pretty sure we actually can't beat the double crackling Drake start. Like, this is pretty aggressive. Actually, I have double severed strands. Maybe. I see. Oh, boy. Yeah, I don't think Doom Whisper does anything. Maybe they have a Sonic Assault in the grave in the in their hand. Like, even if we go to eight and we strands one of these guys, we go to nine and then they just kill us with two. Like, it's actually too aggressive for us. Yeah, I can't deal with four Drakes. Like, uh, by turn by turn seven, like that's not reasonable. I will bring in a crushing canopy, however. I was actually thinking of bringing the Unmoored Ego and just naming uh, Crackling Drake. This actually doesn't seem terrible. All right, let's try again. Now the uh, the plan is just to kill the drakes before they before they hatch. No plays here. We can just play Vraska next turn. That's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. Well, that's a big boy. Cave Cub, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Why didn't we play the troll? Well, it just, yeah, it just dies. I mean, we could just dis, we could, we have no creatures to discard, and, uh, we could just plus Vraska to six. Then if they deal with her, she di she dies. They could also we we also gotta kill the piston fist cyclops. Vraska doesn't do anything here. Like if we plus her go to six, they could literally just play like maximize altitude on this and make this guy unblockable and kill Vraska. Doesn't doesn't seem great. Um, if they if we plus Vraska and. If we minus Vraska and kill this guy, they just make this unblockable and kill Vraska. Like, it literally does zero things. Like, I'm actually on board to just kill this guy.
go. And Vraska's dead. Cool. <laughs> yeah, we just can't beat this deck. Like, this is unfortunate. Like, we're going to go 2 1 with the. Doom Whisper, Charnel Troll, Foil Vraska, Gruesome Menagerie deck, which is really pretty stupid. <laughs> wow. Wish I had that last turn when they first cast this, because then they'd have no Drakes instead of three Drakes. Yep. I don't I like I can't I have no way to beat like if you're gonna draw crackling drake and quasi duplicate every single game, I just can't beat that. Oh, well, they only drew one this game, but they had quasi duplicates, so there's three of them. I mean, if we play the troll, it makes our Grusha Menagerie better. Cool. So if I played it on any one of the tokens, they wouldn't have got the guy back. Yeah, we're just done here. This is just terrible. Uh, we're never getting ahead otherwise either, because we only have one creature to exile with this. So, like, unless we luckily, if unless we magically top deck a creature, like, and the creature, we either just throw it away or it dies. Um, Charnel Troll's pretty terrible there. Like, Charnel Troll literally survives for one turn. Why do I have a hammer? Because there's a hammer on my desk, so I picked it up and I'm holding it now. I don't know why this is so fascinating. Like, it's just a thing on my desk that I'm holding. Uh, Troll and Menagerie are not great together. However, they are both independently strong cards. And uh, there's no reason that they shouldn't be in your deck together, simply because... They kind of contradict. If I have a, a Charnel Troll that's surviving long enough to uh, to make Grissom Menagerie worse, then I'm probably just losing. Yeah, Drakes are stupid, but I mean, like, it's worse when you have three to five of them per game. So <laughs> it happens. What are you going to do?
You look angry with... Well, I mean... Is that better? All right, well... What sound does Whisper Agent make? It's like... Kind of like that. We're probably going to Whisper Agent first here. I don't see a reason to uh, run out of spine. I don't, I don't like running out creatures like Spinal Centipede with no creatures in play. Sure. Thankfully, I have an abundance of lands. <laughs> Never getting rid of that. What bone is the spinal centipede connected to? Uh, the backbone. Centipede's connected to the backbone. I was on the other tab when you said, is this better? So I switched over to looking at froze for like five seconds. Thumb with the grin. Of the yeah. So that's what, that's, that's, that's what life is. Head bones connected to the bone zone. Graveyard and graveyard. These are the rules of the road. That's not how that song goes, but that's fine. Yeah, I'll trade a Whisper Agent for a House Guild Mage. That is just fine. Chicken bones connected to the turkey bone. Turkey bones connected to the gator bone. Gator bones connected to the shin bone. And these are the bones in your head. Is this guy dead? Of course he is. That time they didn't have it. When was it? It was never. Never didn't have it. So we have two cards. They have two cards. They're going to take our severed strands. Most likely. Did you read my comment about where Bring Me the Child is from? No. Nah. Thoughts are replacing for I don't know what the, the mana base is. How would I know what the mana base is? <laughs> okay, we did it. Until they counter it and or kill it. But up until that point, we did it. Pretty sure we all knew counter spells were good. I don't think the issue is that we didn't know that they were good. I think the issue is that they had to have it at that exact moment. And of course they did. Cool. Sure. <laughs> Seems good. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There are only seven lands left in our deck, so only a third of our deck is lands. One, two, three, four, five, nine, ten. No, this is actually ten lands. Yeah, there's, so there's seven left. Sure. How many does this get back? Just like one creature? Eh, two creatures, I guess. For whom the bell tolls. Billy, what's going on, buddy? Long time no see, Moan Frere. I will keep that on top of my library. Did you guys know it was hammer time? Oh, that's nice. Now you get to get rid of my spinal centipede. Jumpstart. Or radical ideas. Radical! Yep, this is all just fine, I guess. Puppy time? <laughs> I don't think those are the same at all. So we're probably going to crack this guy. They didn't attack. Oh, I guess they that, that doesn't make sense if they attack. I guess we attack. Are we, uh... I definitely want to get rid of this guy. Pay costs. Sure. Sigh. Well, that guy's pretty good. So you have an island in hand. Let's hope you didn't draw a card that lets you surveil. Okay, no island in hand. Okay, don't care about that. I just take four. If Raska goes to two, we can get rid of a guy. Yeah, this is fine. We can block Troll next turn. If Raska goes back up to four, that's not a huge deal. Let's actually play... Okay. And then we had a game. You're at eight, so I am going to attack you with this guy. If you want to block with either of those creatures, that's fine. If you want to block with both, that's fine. And uh... <sighs> oh. Yep, seems good. I guess we could have not attacked there? I don't know. I mean, there are three now, so...
I was watching your show on Friday and left when you were on break. When I came back today, I opened the door to my classroom and heard talking. My Twitch is still running, and whoever you have hosting was going. That's actually pretty funny. It was probably Michael Jacobs. Uh, this guy can just keep on hitting me, I guess. I go block here. Yeah, Pax favor would be good. They also have four cards in their hand, so it's like, what's happening? We're looking for a uh, Golgari find broker here to get back like Veraska. All of our good cards have been dealt with. That's a good dude. Do they just have mono lands in their hand? Cool. Come on, dude. This is ridiculous. This is where Glaive would be great because then they'd have to, like, okay, we put on this guy. It's a 2 1. They have to block with two dudes. They have five cards in hand. Are they lands? Are they just sitting on lands? I don't understand what's going on. Do they have, like, counterspell? Sure. Double Sinister Sabotage. Double Artful Takedown. Okay. Well, seems good. Well, it's a real use it or lose it situation, so I might as well play this, I guess. They also have five cards in the direct. They have to win in five turns. That's fascinating. I don't think they can do that. Uh, yeah, if we don't actually play a spell, I don't think they can shuffle cards back into their deck. So I think we still just win on time or on uh, cards. But I guess that changes things. Stupid Joe, what's going on, buddy? Are you trying to figure out if you need to counter this? You do? Sure. <laughs> two Sinister Sabotage, two Devious, two Artful Takedowns. Seems good. I don't actually understand how this deck is performing as poorly as it is, but I guess that's my cross to bear. Uh-huh. Uh, we actually don't have a Doom Whisper Ron, it's in the graveyard. They also just shuffled in two more counter spells into their seven card deck, so I don't actually see how we win this game now.
I think I just put this on Doom Whisper and uh Still have a two turn clock. Yep, and that's that's game. Thank you. Fallwise, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I will bring in this because, dear God. Yeah, Disdainful Shark does seem good, but unfortunately we are not playing blue, so I don't know how we'd, we want to fix our mana base to just play it in a Disdainful Stroke. Like, the only thing we saw that it really countered was the art, I guess the Artful Dodges and the <laughs> and the Doom Whisper and, like, one devious cover-up. I also like Unmored Ego to just hit. Uh... I really don't want two. I don't want double two drops uh, if we're if we're splashing blue because then we're never gonna hit blue on turn two. What do we take out? Strands and something else. Oh, Wario Cappy. I mean, I could actually just play the Guild Gate. for the glaive, which I think is fine. Yeah, so the problem with taking out the worst card is that in limited you don't actually have a worst card. There are always cards you need. <laughs> Like, you could say Child of Night is the worst card, but there's situations where Child of Night is actually the best card you can draw. There is no statistical worst card, and I, I don't actually like that argument very much. Like, there's no card that's going to be the worst card all the time. Because every card is situational, and uh, sometimes you need life gain, sometimes you need removal, sometimes you need creatures, sometimes you need vigilance. Like, every card has a purpose, so ideally you're able to, to find those uses. Like, at any given time, you could have a worse card, but that doesn't mean it's the worst card in your deck, so. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we missed a land drop, like you do. I'm pretty sure we're going to go 1-2 with this deck, which is utterly insane to me, but. I mean, we can't beat... Our opponent in round 2 played 7 Crackling Drakes total, so. What are you going to do?
Oh, devious cover up this m guy. No, okay. I guess they're going to wait for us to... They're just going to artful dodge it. Oh, uh, like you do. Sure. Keep you on board. Apparently three. Apparently three is the number of artful takedowns a person can have in their hand. So... I'm actually feeling better about the Vigor Spine Worm because they have used three artful takedowns. So, I mean, they have like nothing in their hand, I guess. I don't know. They just probably have two counter spells or something. Iron Chef Sammy, congrats, buddy. Well done. Uh, it is sorcery only. Otherwise, it'd be very, very strong. What are the odds? 100%? <laughs> oh my god. Sure. Actually, that's pretty bad. We're going to play this guy. I kept both on top. That's pretty good. Doom Whisper incoming after we just crushing canopy to. Sure. Block here. Make sure that Ceratoc doesn't untap. Excuse me. Oh. Hmm. That is a better use of mana, I suppose. But you kept the cards on top, so... Oh, look at...
look at that. It's your boy. So I assume you have either Sinister Sabotage in hand, otherwise you probably wouldn't have cast that guy. Let's see it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, never don't have it. Absolutely incredible. So, sabotage, sabotage, artful, artful, artful. Sure. Pretty sure they paired me against literally the best is it and the best um the best is it and the best Demir decks that exist. Artful takedown number four. <laughs> no idea what's actually happening right now. Okay. This is like it's basically just a meme. Magical Line was like, hey. You drafted an amazing deck with a bunch of really, really powerful, expensive mythics. Um, get fucked, idiot. Okay, you got me. I guess I did. Sure. I'm actually not sure what kind of deck it would take to beat the uh, the, the previous Crackling Drake times four per game slash this deck with quad artful takedown, double sinister sabotage, disdainful stroke, devious cover up Doom Whisper. I mean, they have no cards in hand, so if we top deck our own Doom Whisper, it's at least parity, but. We, we top decked a, uh, a forest. I mean, if you could just kill this guy, if you just kept the dead weight, you could just win right now, but. So now we go to two. So even if we top deck Doom Whisper, we still die to their Doom Whisper because. Yeah. Does that do anything? We can get a one drop Floaty Boy. Doesn't do anything. A two drop Beetle. Doesn't do anything. And a three drop Troll, which doesn't really do anything. Let's do for five. We can also get. We can also get uh, we get a draw, so maybe we can hit. We can get uh, generous stray as our three drop. Price of fame. Wow! All right, well, that's a thing, isn't it? I'm actually not going to wait here. <laughs> wow. Had to be price of fame. That's the thing. Whew. I don't think we're in it, but that was a hell of a moment, I guess. So. Had to hit Stray into Price of Fame. We get to Scry 2 here, which is nice. It's called Surveil, not Scry. <laughs> yes. Uh, 
find broker seems pretty incredible here, right? We can find broker into a Vraska. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we can definitely do that. I don't think I care about this guy, though. Uh, what did they do? Okay, that's that was it. That is not very impressive. We have to block this guy, so I'll just block here. And the Veraski. You were calling it survey? That's pretty funny. We're not gonna take it. No. Probably should have gambled to hit the counter. Yeah. Um, maybe I just kill one of these guys. I might just kill the house guild mage. Like, giving them Surveil for infinite turns is pretty bad. I do like gaining life here, though. Like, they get one more Surveil, I guess, which is pretty bad, but... Hammer time. Oh, that was so loud. I'm sorry. I'm going to move the hammer now. It might not have been super loud for you, but it was loud for me. So I feel like it had to be loud for you. What do they do? Puts two on top, so I'm not sure we won yet, but... If they kill this, then they kill Vraska, which is pretty bad. Like, I like the idea of gaining life with Vraska, but... Or we can actually just put them to three, but then we're dead if they have removal, so that eh, seems worse. They only get one card. I think we can safely attack with this. If they're able to kill this, like, we still have a block here. We can't, like, this guy doesn't do anything on defense, so. Yep, that's pretty scary. Hmm. I'm cringing at my brain right now. They have no cards in hand, though. Top deck city. Glaive wins you the game off the tippity top with exactly enough guild gates. This cat's gonna kill you. Lucky, 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 lucky. Huh. <laughs> Didn't see that coming. Yeah, well, neither did I. Kitty cats. Kitty cats. <laughs> Woo! Got them. Kitty cats. Alright, um, God. 
I actually want the disdainful strike. I think we're just going into blue. Also, unmoored ego against artful dodge is probably where we want to be, dude. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine black. And then we have one, two, three, four blue. Artful takedown, rather. It's Artful Dodge. Artful Dodge is actually, uh, yeah, that's an old card. One frame for four Phantom of the MTG buck. Christine. All right, so. Guild Mage can come in. I don't actually love Hired Poisoner in this matchup. I don't think he's great. Same with Vigor Spine Worm. You're a little too slow and stupid. You're kind of a big dumb idiot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine black sources. Might be able to cut one more for a fifth blue source. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, and five. I think that's actually just fine. Uh, I don't care about the one one imp though. The the one one imp is pretty like that's not a concern. This guy is not gonna. I need to deal damage and I need a Ceratok to do it. One four imp is not gonna like that's not. That's not a concern of mine at all. I'm actually tempted to take the pilfering imp out of our own. But I think we can do... We got, there's got to be something better we can take out, right? I don't think so, actually. Do you want the route? No, not really. Uh, I, don't, I don't feel like this is a deck where I can take a turn off to play a route. Maybe dispersal. Yeah, I can see cutting that. That's kind of nothing. We'll just take 41 and this, this should be okay. I'm going to keep this hand. And we're going to cross our fingers that it's any good. They went to six on the play. All right. Uh, menagerie is worse, but I don't think Menagerie is anywhere nearly bad enough to cut. Like, Menagerie is a great card, even if you only get a two drop and a three drop. You're still getting five value worth of creatures, uh, often at your choice, of your choice. Oh, they missed the land drop on turn two? Oh, boy. Oh, this could be our... This could be our moment. Nope, oh, our moment's gone. Although, if they kill this guy, we get a good fine broker turn. That seems good. God, they had to draw runner runners. Like, they missed the land drop, so, like, they literally are just top decking their lands at this point. All right, so if we hit a land, we're definitely doing whispering. Yeah, if we can resolve this guy and one of their main ways to get rid of this is an artful dodge, we are okay. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I think after our last <laughs> okay. Um that's fine. Like we have an onboard source of surveil surveil right now, which is pretty nice. Um we actually don't need to use it though, is the thing, so. We can also sacrifice it to Vraska and get it back with uh,
Do I want a guild gate here? Kind of. One, two, three, four. Actually, if we put the forest on top, we could have played the uh, the forest on this guy, which would be fine. One, two, three, four. Next turn, we can go find broker into, like, I don't know, pretty much anything. Vraska can take three here. That's not a huge deal. If we hit a land, we can also go Price of Fame into a Whisper Agent. We did. So now we have to worry about the number of counter spells our opponent has. Like, I really have no interest in having this fine broker countered. And they have at least three counter spells in their deck and four artful dodges, so. Yeah, we've seen four Artful Dodges in their deck. There's no way I'm wasting my turn paying five just to have them tap both these down and kill Vraska. That seems pretty terrible. I actually kind of like that here because it lets us keep up Whisper Agent. Artful dodge number one. Artful dodge number two. Uh, def they're definitely not countering Glaive. That's for sure. Yep, that's what we were expecting. Which is actually not terrible. That pretty much taps them out this turn, which means we get to find Broker for Doom Whisper next turn. Uh, Vraska can easily go down to two here, and we'll just play Whisper Agent. Any land I'm going to keep on top so I can play both things. Um, you can go to the graveyard. We have enough four drops. I feel like we're in good shape here. <laughs> this feels like a, a significant turn in the game. We have three guys, a million lands, a Vraska, a Doom Whisper in hand. Yep, that is fine. I mean, you know we have Doom Whisper, so you're never going to counter this. However, it's pretty strong against you if you choose not to counter it. Okay. Yeah, we're not messing around here. I just want to finish this game out as quick as possible. And we have Crushing Canopy in hand. You're also just dead to this. Mm, graveyard. Graveyard. Yeah, that guy's fine. And just gonna bop this dude. Boop! <laughs> P 
peace out, my friend. They can die on their own terms, which is nice. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much for thank you for not letting me go one two magic online. Really appreciate it. That was a sweet draft, uh, despite the fact that it was significantly closer than I would have liked to have liked it to have been. Uh, I guess we're gonna just gonna have to do this a million times. Thank you guys so much for watching, really appreciate it. If you're watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving. I'm literally just ending the video. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Patreon and Twitch. Links are in the description below. Uh, you can also check out meundies.com slash Frank Lepore for the most comfortable micromodal lush lounge pants, socks, uh, underwear, and tees you will find anywhere. And they should be restocking some Star Wars unders real soon, which is pretty sweet. So be sure to check that out. You'll get 15% off and you'll get uh, free shipping and free returns if something went wrong. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Slam the like and subscribe buttons. I'll check you out next time. And thanks for watching.